हेलो आई आनंद जैन फ्रॉम हनुमानगढ़ राजस्थान वेलकम्स यू टू योर फेवरेट श्रीदेवी क्लासेज यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर वी इनकल्केट इंटरेस्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस इन साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट टुडे इन आवर क्लास ट्वेल्थ फिजिक्स प्ले इन सब्जेक्ट ऑप्टिक्स will study reflection from spherical mirror and will understand how mirror formula is used to find out position and size of image and will solve four different numericals to understand this concept so let's start numerical problem on mirror formula for spherical mirrors concave mirror is a that spherical mirror which has a reflecting surface curved inward and it's a converging mirror a rays coming from infinity parallel to principal axis converge collect at principal focus whereas convex mirror got a reflecting surface that curves outward and it's a diverging spherical mirror rays coming parallel to principal axis after reflection divert in different direction and it looks that they are coming from principal focus behind mirror convex mirror always produce a virtual upright erect image of any object that to of diminished size whatsoever the position of object in front of mirror when object is at infinity a point sized image is formed at principal focus behind the mirror and the image is erect upright and virtual cannot be produced on screen and as object moves towards pole image slightly increase its size and moves towards pole behind the mirror whereas a concave mirror produces use both real and inverted image when object is placed between infinity and principal focus and it will produce virtual erect upright and enlarged image when object is placed between principal focus and pole for a concave mirror when object is at infinity a point size image is formed at principal focus and when object is moved from infinity to center of curvature image shift from principal focus to center of curvature and its size also increases and will get real and inverted image when object is at center of curvature image will have the same size as that of object and both are placed at center of curvature and when object moves towards focus and is placed between center of curvature and focus the image real and inverted get in last and will shift from center of curvature to infinity when object is placed in front of reflective surface of spherical mirror and image is formed in front of mirror where light rays can reach then such image is called as a real image and we can produce that real image on screen or projector and such real image are always inverted whereas when image is formed behind the mirror where light cannot reach then such image is called as virtual image and we cannot produce such image is on screen so we can say real and inverted image can be projected onto a screen whereas a virtual image which is upright erect cannot be produced on screen we can summarize that for a concave spherical mirror when object is between infinity and principal focus the image is real inverted and when object is between principal focus and pole image is virtual and erect similarly for all position of object on convex mirror image is virtual and erect behind the mirror for both concave mirror and convex mirror we can find out position of image for any position of object using mirror equation and mirror equation is 1 over u added to 1 by v become equal to 1 by f where u is the position of object with respect to pole v is distance of image position again from pole and f is focal distance of mirror now these three distances u v and f should be measured in same length unit and that same length unit can be meter for all three or can be centimeter for all three now we have to use a typical cartesian sign concept to find out sign of u v and f for position of object image and principal focus for concave mirror and convex mirror and sign convention is very important to apply mirror formula with correct sense we can also determine the height or size of image with respect to size or height of object using magnification equation and magnification factor is ratio of height of image hi to height of object ho so the ratio of image and 
object height is known as magnification equation and this magnification is equal to negation of v over u where v is distance of image from pole and u is distance of object from pole again to apply this magnification equation we have to follow cartesian sign convention to decide sign of image height object height or distance of image or distance of object the magnification of object is if less than 1 then it means the image is smaller than object and if this magnification is more than 1 it indicate that image height is more than object height a positive answer for magnification equation indicate that image is upright erect in the same sense as that of object and if this magnification factor comes as negative it means object and image are opposite in direction to each other and image is inverted and one important fact is that when image is formed in front of mirror then that image is real as well as inverted and when image is formed behind the mirror then image would be erect upright and virtual in this mirror formula shown in blue frame u is the distance of object from pole v is distance of image from pole and f is distance of principal focus again from pole so all three distances u v and f are considered from pole and with proper sign and the sign of u v and f is decided by cartesian sign convention and after that this formula is used to get one distance out of three u v and f if other two are known to us similarly in this magnification relation the height of image and height of object got a positive or negative sign and that sign is decided by cartesian sign convention the modern cartesian sign convention can be explained by following six points the first is all distances are measured from the pole of mirror and pole of mirror is center position as this is shown for concave mirror and this is pole position for a convex mirror and all distances whether it is of distance of object distance of image or principal focus distance all distances are measured from pole of respective mirror now any distance which is to the right of pole or in the direction of incident light light ray coming from object is the direction of incident light and any distance which is measured from pole and is in right direction of pole in the direction of incident light is taken as positive whereas any distance measured from pole against the direction of incident light or to left of it is treated as negative so in this case of concave mirror when distance of object is measured from pole for object then this u distance of object is against the direction of incident light and in this case both u and distance of image from pole v are negative and similarly the principal focus distance from pole is also negative so for this concave lens all three u v and f in this case are taken as negative whereas in this case of convex mirror the distance of object from pole is against incident light or is towards left side so u is negative here but distance of image in the direction of incident light or to the right of this origin position of pole is taken as positive and distance of principal focus again towards right of pole or is in the direction of incident light is positive so u the distance of object is negative but v distance of image and f the distance of principal focus are positive in this mirror formula for convex lens case all heights are measured in the vertical direction perpendicular to this principal axis and a height to the top of it in upward direction are considered as positive and object is always placed in such positions so object height is always considered as positive and if image is real and inverted then it is in the downside of principal axis and such image height will be considered as negative and if image is virtual upright erect then it again comes in upward direction and any height in vertical direction to top of principal axis is considered as positive so for imaginary upright erect image image height is positive and for real inverted image image height is negative to understand cartesian 
साइन कन्वेंशन इन मिरर फॉर्मूला कंपेयर पोजिशन ऑफ मिरर ऑन कार्टिजन प्लेन एंड दिस इज रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस ऑफ स्पेरिकल मिरर एंड दिस सेंटर इज पोल ऑफ स्पेरिकल मिरर एंड दिस पोल इज कंसिडर्ड एज ओरिजन ऑफ कार्टिजन प्लेन एंड ऑब्जेक्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस विल प्रोड्यूस इंसिडेंट रे एज शोन इन दिस ड्रॉइंग एंड एनी डिस्टेंस विच इज टू द राइट ऑफ दिस वर्टिकल एक्सेस इज कंसिडर्ड एज पॉजिटिव सो एनी पोजिशन वर्चुअल इमेज और प्रिंसिपल फोकस ऑफ कॉन्वेक्स मिरर विच इज बिहाइंड द मिरर इज कंसिडर्ड एज पॉजिटिव एंड वेन इमेज इज रियल एंड इन फ्रंट ऑफ रिफ्लेक्टिंग सरफेस देन इन दैट केस वी द डिस्टेंस ऑफ इमेज फ्रॉम पोल वुड बी कंसिडर्ड एज नेगेटिव एनी डिस्टेंस विच इज टू द राइट ऑफ दिस वर्टिकल एक्सेस इज पॉजिटिव एंड टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ वर्टिकल एक्सेस इज नेगेटिव सो एनी डिस्टेंस टू द बैक साइड ऑफ मिरर इज पॉजिटिव एंड एनी डिस्टेंस इन फ्रंट ऑफ मिरर इज नेगेटिव सिमिलरली दिस इज प्रिंसिपल एक्सेस एंड एनी हाइट ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट अपवर्ड साइड इज पॉजिटिव and to down of it is negative so when virtual image is erect upright then its height is positive and when real image is inverted its height is treated as negative practice of following four numericals will enhance our subject clarity and improve exam preparation in this first numerical it is given that a candle which is object in this case is 40 cm away from the surface of convex mirror and an image of candle is formed which is virtual erect upright and diminished in size behind the mirror 15 cm from pole we have to find out focus of this convex mirror so in this mirror formula the distance of object distance of image both are given and we have to find out focus of mirror now object is in front of mirror and left of pole so this distance is negative in sign so u is 40 cm with negative sign and image is to the right of pole so it is plus 15 cm so when u is placed as minus 40 v is placed as 15 we can get focus distance in cm from mirror formula and if we rearrange one over f will become with 120 as lcm simplification will fetch it 5 upon 120 or 1 by 24 and when it is reverted we'll get that focus distance is plus 24 cm plus means it is right of mirror to the back side so focus point principal focus of convex mirror is behind the mirror and it is 24 cm from pole we have given a concave mirror of radius of curvature 20 cm and its focus distance is half of radius of curvature and in one example object is placed 16 cm in front of mirror and in another example object is placed at a distance 5 cm from pole in front of concave mirror and in both case we have to find out position and nature of image when object is behind focus image is real and inverted and when object is between pole and focus image would be virtual and erect so we have to find out nature position as well as size of image in both case focal length is half of radius of curvature and radius of curvature is given 20 cm so focal distance is 10 cm and in first example when object distance is 16 cm and object is in front of mirror then this 16 cm to the left of pole is treated as minus 16 cm principal focus is also to the left of pole so it is minus 10 cm and in this mirror formula both u distance of object from pole minus 16 cm and distance of principal focus from pole minus 10 cm is given so in centimeter unit we can find out distance of image using mirror formula when u and f is placed we can find out v 1 over v is when 1 by 16 with negative sign is in changed to the second side it become positive and when we take 80 as lcm it is 5 minus 8 or minus 3 by 80 or inversion will result as distance of image as minus 80 by 3 or minus 26.67 cm now this negative sign indicate that image is to the left of pole or in the front sides of mirror and we'll get a real image at a distance 26.67 cm from pole as shown in this diagram and if we use magnification relation then height of image and height of object got a ratio equal to negation of image distance from pole 
to object distance from pole to find out height of image we can use magnification relation and magnification is equal to negation of image distance from pole divided by object distance from pole now image is in front of mirror negative 26.67 cm from pole and object is again in front of mirror negative and 16 cm from pole so this ratio comes as with negation sign minus 1.67 this negative sign indicate that height of image and height of object are opposite to each other object is erect upward and image is inverted downward and image is also amplified by 1.67 times or it is 5 by 3 times of object height if object height is 3 cm then image height would become 5 cm so in this case image is enlarged in size and is inverted in the first case when object was between infinity and focus the image was real and inverted but this time the object distance is 5 cm from pole and it is between focus and pole so this will produce a virtual erect upward image that too magnified as per mirror formula in this example the distance of object in front of mirror to the left of pole is 5 cm is negative we have to find out distance of image v whereas principal focus in front of mirror to the left of pole is 10 cm is negative 10 cm so when we place u as minus 5 cm and f as minus 10 cm we can find out distance of image v using mirror formula and 1 by v is when this minus 1 by 5 is transferred to the other side become positive when we take lcm and simplify v comes as 10 cm plus plus means it is to the right of pole behind the mirror as shown in this diagram and if we use magnification relation we can find out ratio of height of image to height of object as negation of ratio of image distance to object distance now image distance is to the right side of pole behind the mirror plus 10 cm and object distance is to the left of pole in front of mirror negative 5 cm and with negation of this ratio magnification comes as plus 2 plus 2 means both image and object are in the same direction and as object is upward erect image is also upward erect and it is double in size of object as it is illustrated in this drawing also in this numerical an object of size 7 cm that is its height is 7 cm is placed at 27 cm in front of concave mirror of focal length 18 cm 18 twice 36 cm is center of curvature that means object is placed between focal point and center of curvature in concave mirror and in that case we'll get real inverted and magnified image between center of curvature and infinity we have to find out distance of image from the mirror where we'll get a sharp focused image on screen we have to also find out the size or height of image and its nature so it is given u in front of concave mirror to the left side of pole is negative 27 cm principal focus is also to the left of pole in front of mirror negative 18 cm and height of object is given 7 cm upright erect positive 7 cm as per mirror formula distance of object is minus 27 cm focal distance is minus 18 cm and in cm unit we can find out distance of image v so 1 by v is when this negative 1 by 27 is shifted to other side become positive and when we'll take lcm 54 cm and simplify we'll get 1 by v as negative 1 by 54 or v as minus 54 cm this negative sign clearly indicate that image will be formed in front of concave mirror to the left of pole at 54 cm from pole where we should place a screen to get a focused image of object now the magnification relation will give us height of image the ratio of height of image to height of object is negation of v to u and here we have to find out height of image the height of object is given to us and the both u and v in front of mirror are negative and their ratio is plus 2 with negative sign magnification is negative to negative means image is inverted image opposite to the direction of object object is upward so image is downward so image is inverted downward and 
this ratio 2 indicate that height of image is 2 times height of object which is given 7 cm. So height of image is 14 cm with negative sign means it is inverted downward. We hope this beautiful learning video has explained each and every aspect of image formation in both concave and convex mirror. Now you can use both mirror formula as well as magnification formula to make appropriate numerical calculation and you could also understand the Cartesian sign convention. This video will definitely improve your scoring ability. Our other learning video of the same playlist are equally useful. You can use them in your studies or refer them to your friends also. And if you need exam-centric dedicated study notes or online doubt clearing classes from our channel, do join our YouTube membership. Happy learning. Have nice time. Thank you very much.